Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Nilu. If you're new here, please subscribe for more videos just like this. Today I'm doing a September favorites video. We are almost in October. We're in October. I don't even know what day it is anymore, but uh, we are nearing the end of the year and I wanted to show you what my favorite products were from this month. I've been using a lot of things this month, but there are certain items that I've just been going back to over and over again. So I want to show you a few beauty favorites, one fashion favorite, a home favorite, and then one flop. My first beauty favorite is actually from a recent video I did. It is from the new Sephora favorites give me more lip set and I will link that video up here and in the description if you haven't seen it you can watch that with my swatches and my first impressions, wear tests, etc. But it is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. This I have really really been impressed with lately. I didn't really care for it too much when I first used it. I was like it's whatever. I mean it works. but. Really, I've been using it every night and every morning as I get ready. Um, put it on my lips at night, wake up and my lips are soft and moisturized and then in the morning I'll apply it, a very thin layer of it, um, as I'm getting ready and then kind of wipe it off with my finger and put on my lip products. And it just, it works as a great kind of base for other products but it's also really moisturizing. It smells like bubble gum to me and you need a very small amount of product to get anywhere so I really, really like this. I'm a huge fan and um, yeah, I'm definitely new to the world of Laneige and Laneige sleeping masks, so I uh, have only heard great things about this product and I'm happy to say that I'm also now a fan. My next product that is a favorite for September is also from that Sephora favorites give me more lip set and it is the Charlotte Tilbury Matte Revolution lipstick in the color Very Victoria. This one is really unique. It's a very unique nude on me. It's slightly darker. I feel like it's a nice fall transition kind of nude for me because it's still that beigey pink nude, but it's slightly darker than my usual nudes. Um, and I just, I think I'm just a sucker for this packaging more than anything, truly. As much as I want to say like it's all about the product, I think the packaging gets me and I'm just a sucker for it. Um, but I've been loving this. I have said before that Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks have really grown on me since the first time I ever used one. And now I have two of them. I have Bond Girl and I have this one, which is very Victoria. And I love this one and I'm really excited to keep using it. My next favorite is a brow product. And I actually had a sample for this before I started using it. Uh, loved that sample and then I went and bought it. So uh, if you're marketing, samples work. <laughs> um, it is the Benefit Give Me Brow. Um, brow Volumizing Fiber Gel. And I have the color six, which I believe is the darkest color that they have. It's either black or like brown black. Um, but I had a small little baby size of it. I think it was the number three. It was a little bit too light for me, but it was a beautiful formula. I really liked the way it worked. And I always talk about how I thought these brow products were over, uh, overpriced and overhyped. Um, like I would talk smack about the Glossier Boy Brow and the Benefit Gimme Brow because I used to use the Essence Make Me Brow, which is kind of like a cheaper dupe for this one. It was only $3, worked really well. And then I started using the sample and I was like, whoa hold up like I did not remember this product being this good so I think I just got used to using that essence one but really this is there's a difference like I I think for me at least like comment below if you've used both the essence um, make me brow and like a mid-range to higher end brow product let me know what you think because at first I was like these are all gimmicks like it's a waste of money but no I see a very clear difference it's like night and day between using this and using that uh, cheaper dupe so definitely comment and let me know what you think about that because I don't know if I'm just like fooling myself, but I think this works so much better. It has little fibers in it, so they kind of like get into your eyebrow and kind of volumize that way. But also I just find the formula to be so nice. The brush is really small. It really like, it lets you be very precise, get where you want to get and avoid certain areas that you want to avoid. So um, loving this and I got it during the Sephora 20% off VIB sale. The next product is something that I actually did like a full wear test and review and everything of. This was actually sent to me by Influencer and I was not impressed with it at the beginning. I will link my video here. I did a full wear test, a full review and everything um, and I wasn't really a huge fan. But lately, this month, I've been reaching for it nonstop and it is the Marc Jacobs Accomplice Concealer. Um, it is so nice. It's supposed to be a concealer and touch up stick so essentially it's easy to really throw in your bag and kind of touch up when you need to. but. For some reason, I have just been loving this lately. I find it to be really opaque. It still is kind of hard to blend out with your fingers, but, um, sorry, with a beauty blender, but with your fingers, it's really, really easy to blend out. I have the color light 26 or light 23. It fell off, so I'm not really sure which one it is, but uh, 
yeah, it's very opaque. It lasts really long. I, I, I don't know. I, I wouldn't even say it's like an everyday concealer. It seems like almost like a special occasion concealer because it's so opaque and kind of hard to work with. But for some reason, I've been reaching for it every day and I think it could be because I'm not getting enough sleep. <laughs> anyway, this is a favorite for the month of September. Those were all my makeup favorites. Now I'm on to a skincare favorite. And this favorite is the Vichy Mineral 89 Skin Fortifying Daily Booster. Now I do have to say, I bought this from Target and after I started using it, Vichy contacted me and said uh, they were doing a social media campaign, which I am now a part of, so I'm a hashtag Vichy partner, uh, which I'm super excited about. I'm gonna be trying some of their products and reviewing them at some point. But this one I bought all by myself with my own money before that even happened uh, from Target. I think it was $30, it's $29.99, and I love it. I use my products very sparingly, which is probably why you haven't seen much use, but um, I've had this for like maybe two months now, but I've really been using it a lot in September. Um, love it. I, I bought it because I wanted a hyaluronic acid based product that would help kind of boost my either morning moisturizer or nighttime oil that I use because I know that in the winter, my combination skin gets really dry in those dry areas and I just wanted to make sure that I was using something that not only had some antioxidants and some um, ingredients that are good for the skin but also something that'll kind of plump the skin and moisturize it, help draw water to the skin uh, because it's gonna get less humid out. And as much as I complain about humidity here in Houston, you don't realize how used to the humidity you get until it gets dry and your hands are cracking and your face is like tight and you can't talk. Like it's just really hard. So we complain about it, but also it's kind of has its benefits. So I've been loving this product. Um, I will be doing some more Vichy reviews once that campaign starts because they're going to be sending me some products to try, which I'm super duper excited about. Um, and I will post about that when I get those, but I just wanted to say I bought this all by myself and I love it and um, that is all. My next product is actually a home favorite. It's a candle and I think I talked about this candle last year in my October favorites possibly. It is the Trader Joe's Vanilla Pumpkin Scented Candle. It is made with natural soy wax and a lead-free cotton wick, which I think is awesome. And I have this burning right now. This is a brand new one, but mine is actually on my candle warmer in that corner of my apartment over there and it smells amazing. It is like a sweet pumpkin vanilla scent. It's literally the name, <laughs> but it's really not overpowering. I'm not somebody who likes super sweet scents, but this just to me, it, it's just, it's the epitome of fall. I mean, mm, I can't. Just go to Trader Joe's and smell it, I'm sorry. I hate when people do this on YouTube. They're like, I can't tell you what it smells like, but it smells really good. And I'm like, really? But now I'm one of those people. So just go to Trader Joe's and smell it. I give up. <laughs> it is just a really nice candle. And last year when I first found it and first tried it for the first time, first, 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 um, I bought it once, used it a few times and was like, oh my God, I need to like get another one. And I went back to the Trader Joe's to get it and they were completely sold out. So this year I went and I bought two so I have two backups and I'm going through that one I had from last year now and uh, love it. It's only about $3.99, so a really good deal for a good candle. My last favorite, which is a fashion favorite, are these Who What Wear sandals. Ooh, these are so cute. So these are a fashion fave for me. I've had these for quite a few months now, but I've actually only been reaching for them a lot this month. I think I've worn them a couple times just this week and they are faux snakeskin um, sandals. They're uh, not sling back. They are just a low block heel slip on sandal. Super cute, super comfortable. I am a huge fan of low block heels because I just don't want to suffer anymore. I have a few really high stilettos that I still wear, but they're only the really comfortable ones. Like I've, I've really gotten rid of every shoe I have that is not comfortable because I refuse to suffer for, for fashion anymore, for, for good looks or whatever, you know? Uh, it's just not worth it. Um, but these are really cute. They were only like $30 from Target. And if I can find the link, if they still have them, I will link them. But I just wanted to say really overall, like maybe not specifically this shoe, but A, any low block heel vibe I love. And also this snakeskin print that's really on trend these days, I am also really, really loving. So um, if I can find a picture of me wearing these, I will insert them here. Otherwise, I will try to link this below. The last thing I want to talk about is something that was kind of a flop for me and I'm really sad to say this. I am wearing this product right now and it is the Lancome Monsieur Big Mascara. I have a weird story about this. So I tried a sample of it last summer 
loved it. Like I was just, I used the crap out of that sample and I think I used it for way longer than you should ever use mascara, especially like a small sample. I went and bought the full size when Ulta was doing a half off deal. So I only paid $12 for this. Whereas I think it retails for about 24 to $30. And I was so excited about this that I wanted to save it for later. So I've had this just sitting unopened in my makeup drawer for a few months now. And I started using it this month and I am just not a huge fan. For some reason, I don't know, is the, are the samples better than the full size? I, let me know what you think about this product. If you've used it or if you have experience with the sample versus the big size or if I'm making conspiracy theories up, let me know in the comments. <laughs> but yeah, all I wanted to say that it, it's sad because I'm a little bit disappointed by the full size version of this because I loved the deluxe size sample so much. I don't think I would repurchase it, unfortunately, but I'm wearing it right now and I'm gonna keep using it until that whole three month window is done and then I'll put it in my empties. Thank you so much for watching my September favorites video. I hope you have a great rest of September, beginning of October and the rest of your year. Please comment below, let me know what your favorites and your flops were this, this month of September, uh, what you liked and what you didn't like. And please subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. I hope to see you in my next video. Have a great day.